The squirrel cage three-phase induction motor is a common type of electric motor widely used in various industrial and commercial equipment. Here is a detailed introduction to its features and working principle. Basic structure. Stator contains three sets of windings, each connected to a three-phase AC power source used to generate a rotating magnetic field. Rotor features a squirrel cage design composed of multiple conductive bars, which are connected at both ends of the rotor by ring conductor. Working principle. Generation of rotating magnetic field. When the three-phase AC current flows through the stator windings, a rotating magnetic field is generated inside the motor. Induction of current. This rotating magnetic field cuts through the conductive bars of the rotor, inducing a current in these bars based on the principle of electromagnetic induction. Rotation of the rotor. The conductive bars inside the rotor are subjected to a force in the rotating magnetic field thereby driving the rotation of the rotor. Key features Simple and robust structure The design of the squirrel cage rotor is simple and robust, with low maintenance costs. High efficiency and reliability Squirrel cage three-phase induction motors typically offer high efficiency and reliability. Self-starting This type of motor is capable of starting on its own upon power connection. Strong adaptability, suitable for various environmental conditions, including harsh industrial environments. Applications Widely used in various mechanical drive systems, such as fans, pumps, conveyor belts, etc. Industrial manufacturing equipment and automation system, power systems and energy management equipment. With its high efficiency, reliability, and low maintenance costs, the squirrel cage three-phase induction motor plays an extremely important role in modern industrial and commercial fields. The dual stator squirrel cage three-phase induction motor is a specially designed motor featuring two stators and a squirrel cage rotor. This design offers enhanced performance and control capabilities. Below is a detailed introduction to its characteristics and working principle. Basic structure, dual stator to independent stator winding structure. Each stator can be powered separately or simultaneously, allowing for more complex control strategy. Squirrel cage rotor, standard squirrel cage design, composed of conductive bars, interacting with the dual stators to generate rotational torque. Working principle, generation of rotating magnetic field. When the two stators are connected to a three-phase AC power source, either separately or simultaneously, a rotating magnetic field is generated inside the motor. Induction of current. These rotating magnetic fields cut through the rotor's conductive bars, inducing an electric current. Rotor rotation. Due to electromagnetic induction, the rotor begins to rotate under the influence of the magnetic field. Key features Increased efficiency The use of dual stators enables the motor to achieve higher operational efficiency. Improved control The dual stator design allows for more precise control of speed and torque. Flexible application Suitable for applications requiring precise control and high performance. Complex structure Compared to traditional three-phase induction motors, the dual stator design is more complex. Applications Special industrial applications, such as precision machinery control system, high-performance drive systems, for example, in the transportation sector, energy systems requiring high efficiency and precise control. In summary, the dual stator squirrel cage three-phase induction motor, while offering all the advantages of traditional squirrel cage motors, provides possibilities for more precise performance control and improved operational efficiency through its innovative dual stator design. This makes it particularly suitable for specialized applications requiring high precision and efficiency. Let's now set up the simulation for the dual stator three-phase induction motor.
set the material of all coils to copper. Set the material of the two stators and one rotor to magnetic conductive material. Set the rated speed of the rotor to 1500 RPM. Set the material of the rotor's swirl cage to cast aluminum. Then we can slice the mesh of all the structural materials in this simulation one by one. Now is the time to set the number of turns for all the coil winding. Set the number of turns for the aphase coil winding of the inner stator to 8 turns.
set the number of turns for the aphase coil winding of the outer stator to 16 turns. Set the number of turns for the B-phase coil winding of the inner stator to 8 turns. Set the number of turns for the B-phase coil winding of the outer stator to 16 turns. Set the number of turns for the C-phase coil winding of the outer stator to 16 turns. Set the number of turns for the C-phase coil winding of the inner stator to 8 turns. Place all the coil windings with the configured number of turns into phase A, phase B, and phase C, respectively. This step is to set the transient analysis time for this dynamic simulation. This step can determine if there are any setup errors in this dynamic simulation.
Executing this command will initiate the analysis and calculation of the dynamic simulation. After completing this simulation analysis, we can use the software to draw a dynamic simulation curve diagram of the motor's no load speed. We can also convert the speed diagram into an angular velocity curve diagram. The angular velocity curve can provide important information about the performance of squirrel cage three phase motors, including their response time, stability, and performance under different loads, based on the general characteristics of this angular velocity curve. We can infer some basic point. Advantages Quick response If the curve shows that the motor can reach the desired speed in a short time, this indicates that the motor has good starting performance and the ability to respond to load changes. Stable operation Once the motor reaches a stable operating speed, if the angular velocity does not vary significantly, this demonstrates that the motor maintains good speed stability during continuous operation, which is very important for applications requiring precise speed control. Disadvantages Speed fluctuation If the curve shows significant speed fluctuations before reaching a stable state or during steady operation, this may indicate that the motor may not be stable under certain conditions, which could be a problem for high-precision applications. Excessive consumption at startup If the curve shows a significant increase in speed during the startup phase, this may mean that a large amount of energy is consumed at startup, potentially leading to inefficiency and excessive power consumption. Overall Consideration Response and adjustment The curve can also reflect the motor's ability to respond to load changes and adjust speed, which is very critical for applications with strict dynamic requirements. In summary, the design of dual stator squirrel cage three phase motors is aimed at providing stable and reliable operational performance, especially suitable for industrial and commercial applications. However, the optimal performance for specific applications depends on the design of the motor, operating conditions, and the degree of integration with other parts of the system. Understanding these dynamic characteristics can help engineers and designers select and optimize motor solutions tailored to their specific needs. We can also use the three-phase currents calculated by the software, and then perform FFT fast Fourier transform analysis and calculate the total harmonic distortion THD. For a dual stator squirrel cage three-phase induction motor with a rated frequency of 50 Hz, the fundamental frequency obtained through FFT analysis is close to 50 Hz, actually 49.95 Hz. This indicates that the current frequency of the motor during operation highly matches its design frequency, which is a positive indicator, showing that the motor operates normally or close to its rated working conditions. The total harmonic distortion THD for the three phase currents of phase, B phase, C phase are respectively 5.85%, 5.83%, and 5.81%, which are slightly higher than what is generally considered a good standard below 5%. However, these THD values are still within an acceptable range. A slight increase in THD may lead to a minor reduction in motor efficiency and additional heat loss, but this does not imply poor motor performance. In fact, the THD values of motors in many industrial applications fall within this range, especially in cases where no special design has been implemented to reduce the effects of harmonics. Taking into account the analysis results of the fundamental frequency and THD, the performance of this motor can be considered good, it is capable of operating close to its design frequency, and while harmonic distortion exists, it is controlled at a relatively low level. This suggests that the motor is well designed and manufactured, suitable for most standard application scenarios, however, for applications particularly sensitive to the effects of harmonics. Further evaluation or additional harmonic mitigation measures may be necessary. Overall, the performance of this motor meets the requirements of general industrial applications.